Hey YouTube, my name is Rachel and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And we are going to be going through my weekend sales. So I think overall, let me just see, this weekend my sales after shipping at fees was $48.17. So not too bad. And I sold quite a bit of, well, a few pairs of boots, which really helps with sales. So yeah, here we go. So here are those Steve Madden boots that I got in my last thread up um, rescue box. And these sold on Poshmark for $35. They were in pretty good condition. They had the studs on them. Um, they actually got a lot more interest than I thought. And, um, yeah, so I am not sad <laughs> about this. And so after fees, and I might have sent out an offer on shipping, or discounted shipping. So after all is said and done, my profit on these were was um, $25.54. Here are some Ralph Lauren boots, very well made soft leather and made in Italy. So these sold for $85 and after fees and everything on Poshmark my profit was $68 and these I just got at the bins so 3-4 bucks. Here are some more tall riding boots. These are by the brand Corso Como. And I believe I normally would have listed them a little bit higher, but they did have a little bit of scratches on the toes. And yeah, so these th this pair sold for $30, making my profit $21.54. Here is a ring that sold. It tested as sterling silver. It was adju adjustable and it was that silver filigree or I guess sometimes it can be called Indian ribbon. You can see right there the um, swirl but I think it said Bombay on the in inside and this sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Here are some Torrid boots. I love selling Torrid boots because they are a little bit more unique. Not the highest quality, but they usually are wide or larger sizes. And there are plenty of shoppers looking for that. And these sold for $44 and the buyer paid shipping. I did list these, I believe, maybe earlier in the summer, so they finally did sell. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are some clip-on earrings and they sold for $19.88 and after shipping my profit was $16.76 and you can see the abalone shell in there and these were by Alpaca Mexico which sometimes I think don't quote me on this. Sometimes can be sterling and sometimes not. And I do not believe that these were sterling on the back. But so pretty. Here is a Betsy Johnson waist belt. This I got at the bins. And it only sold for $15. But I'm okay with that. I paid for shipping. So it had free shipping. And after... Um, I paid for shipping. My profit was $11.43. And again, I got this at the bins and in pretty good condition. So yeah, here are more tall vintage boots. And these are the 9 West and it literally had the number 9 and West on the inside. And these did not have a zipper or a stretch, so they were just a pull-on boot 
and these sold for $29.99. Did have a little bit of damage right there, as you can see, on the heel. But if I'm remembering correctly, the leather was really soft and really nice. And you can see right here on the inside, really, really soft. So, yeah, my profit on these, $29.99. The buyer paid. So you can probably hear my kids in the background. Um... Sorry about that, but being a stay-at-home mom, this is where we're at. Um, here are some Steve Madden heels. These I got in a box, and I just threw them up for really inexpensive. Um, I don't think the style is on trend or anything, so I did $16.88 in free shipping, and they sold, making my profit $9.12, so... Glad that those are gone. I would not have picked those up, but since they came to me, it was okay. Now this, I had no idea what it was. It came in a jewelry jar, and I thought it was really weird. <laughs> I finally figured out that it is an ear cuff or an ear climber. It's a human body and as you can see the post goes in your ear and it was really interesting so um the buyer paid 19 dollars free shipping so after shipping my profit was 15.78 here are some clark's loafer wedges they were a gray color, and I would say these were in really great shape. They sold for $22, and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe I picked these up at the bins, so not too bad. But yeah, these were in great shape. Coach, for me, doesn't do all that well unless it's really obviously Coach. Then I think that attracts more of the Coach collectors. And obviously these um, only said coach on the inside and then really lightly, or I guess really small on the hardware in the front. But really nice quality. So I'm happy with $22. These were some Clark's women's boots, women's Chelsea boots. And these sold the next day after listing them. They sold for $34.99. I did have best offer, but the buyer paid full price and shipping on top. So that makes my profit $34.99. And I did pick these up at the bins and they're very lightweight. I would say less than two pounds. So these were a an awesome profit. So boots for me, I typically um, list for a little bit more than the other styles of Clark's, unless they're brand new. And these were just a unique newer style, so I did price them a little bit higher. Usually with Clark's, I price them at $22.99 and the buyer pays shipping. But yeah, so these surprised me that they sold the next day. Here are some soft S-O-F-F-T, that's the brand, soft heels. They were a size 11, really cute um, heels. I do like picking up this brand because I feel like it is a better quality comfort shoe than your average um, everyday shoe. And usually on the insole, um, the insole is leather for a lot of these soft brand shoes. These ones were not, but I still picked them up and they sold for $29.98 I'm sorry, $29.88 with free shipping. So after shipping, it is $22.12. Here is a perfume bottle <clears throat> that I actually got for my stepdaughter for her room. She saw one of these, I don't remember if we were in an antique store or what, and she thought that it was really, really cool. 
So I saw one at Goodwill and picked it up and thought she would like it. But I think she's really um, starting to move away from the more feminine and girly things in life. And so I decided to list this and it sold for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. And yeah, so my stepdaughter's favorite colors now is like black, teal, and I'm sorry, black, bluish, teal, and purple. And I think if she had it her way, she would probably paint her new room black. So instead, I put my thinking cap on and um, we I'm going to decorate her room and surprise her. Um, her room is going to be a space nebula theme. So it's going to be those purples and those blues and then black, but in, in a not so dark feeling room. And I think she's going to be really surprised and I know that she likes to do um, constellation watching with her her mom her biological mom so I'm pretty excited about that but this would not fit her new aesthetic I don't think so yes this sold and I usually don't do hard goods anymore but every once in a while I will here are some men's Clark's Chuka desert boots they were in decent condition. They are supposed to look stressed a little bit, or I'm sorry, distressed. And these sold, I took a best offer of $20. I got these at the bins. So I did take the best offer on this and the buyer paid shipping. And then lastly on eBay, I sold this no name brown Italian leather belt. It did have a little bit of wear on the buckle and the buyer sent me an offer of $8 and then they also paid shipping. I got this belt at the bins, so less than 50 cents. So here are some Sterling River women's cowboy boots. I picked them up at the bins. And I picked these up after the bins were completely picked over. And I believe that nobody picked these up because they did not have a brand listed on the inside or the outside. But they felt like really great quality. And that is, this. Um, these scratches and distressing are no big deal for a lot of buyers. Uh, my... Freebird boots actually have purpose, purposeful distressing similar to the, um, the, this leather here, this oiled leather look. So when I did a Google visual search use, using that app, what pulled up was the Sterling River women's boots. And they were exactly the same, the same inside, the same soles and everything. So then I was able to find out what brand these were. So that was pretty exciting. And so these sold for $53 and the buyer sent me the offer after shipping, making my profit $38.07. So these orange Cole Haan women's zero grand shoes did sell for $45. They, um, well, I think I mentioned in the past video that these are my husband's favorite type of shoes. He really likes the perforation that is going on to show off his socks. And I picked these up at the regular Goodwill thrift store. So I probably paid, um, $6.99 or $9.99 for these and these wet marks on the front are just from washing but these were in pretty good condition and after shipping my profit is thirty dollars and eighty nine cents obviously that's not my profit after cost of goods because it was like six to ten dollars 
but I'm still really happy with these. I love listing things that I love, and these were pretty awesome. So this is an Aldo Men's Black Distressed Belt. I got this at the bins, and it was purposely distressed. So I think that this was in great shape for what it was, and it sold for $17.00. And the buyer did pay shipping, so after the Mercari fees, my profit was $14.51. <clears throat> and lastly is this brown leather brass belt. I'm not sure how to click on it from here without showing the buyer's name or anything, but this was just another bins pickup. They paid $16 free shipping, and that makes my profit $12.43. Yeah, and it was just a simple black leather belt with grommets on it, and I got that at the bins. So, yeah, $12.43. Probably my profit is around $12, so I really, really love selling belts. So, yeah, all in all, my total over this weekend was $4.88. 488.17 or was it 77? No, 488.17. So yeah, that was a great weekend of sales, 
and I have to go pack those up. My husband brought most of them upstairs. I'm at the point of pregnancy where I feel like I can't really carry too much. And um, update on the baby is I am now 31 weeks pregnant and at my last maternal fetal ultrasound, maternal fetal medicine ultrasound, the baby was measuring at five pounds and at 35 weeks. So he is a big boy and we are dealing with the possibility, I guess I should say strong probability that the baby is going to have to have surgery after he's born. We are dealing with a little bit of medical issues with him. I mean, not a huge deal, but something just to get taken care of. And there's only like one issue that they're really looking at, that the doctors are really looking at. So I have to see a few different specialists for that. And hopefully he doesn't need to have surgery and have to go on antibiotics and all that. But um, if he does, we'll keep us in our prayers. Or I'm sorry, keep us in your prayers and um, hopefully we'll have everything prepared as far as moving and just setting him up for a lot of success as far as like breastfeeding goes and being able to stay at home and having a really nurturing environment and we're really looking forward to him coming and I'm really happy that he's measuring larger because with what is going on with him and also with my blood pressure, they think that, or they always are concerned about the babies not growing and running out of the fluid inside of my belly. And that's looking good. And obviously he's measuring in the 99, greater than 99th percentile. All of my kids are greater than 99th percentile for height. So we couldn't leave him out. Um, I'm six foot myself, so yes, he is going to be a big boy, and I'm really glad that he's healthy and growing. I'm just ready to move. I am debating on how long to keep all of my shops open, um, my Mercari and Poshmark and eBay shop, because I, I do want to be productive, keep the routine, keep selling, because... When things are all said and done as far as closing costs and everything for the new house, I, I, I like to be financially prepared for my own sanity. Like the one thing that we are going to need for sure right when we move is a fence. My two-year-old is, the best way that I can describe her is that she lives life more intensely than her sister. She sometimes they can call her feisty or things like that, but she's like her daddy where everything is funnier and sillier and faster and crazier and she sees things and she wants to go. So she is the kind of child that needs a fence. My first born does, would not need a fence. She knows boundaries. So just thinking of all the little things that need to go into, you know, moving into a new house makes me keep pushing to keep my stores open. Sorry that the sun is behind me. Um, keep my stores open. Keep making money. You know, $488 minus all the fees and taxes and everything is still really good profit for a weekend and is nice to be able to put towards the new things our house will need, paint, fence, um, setting up a new baby boy's room. We don't have any baby boy stuff, so getting all the baby boy stuff. So yeah, those are all the uh, new updates in our life. And um, if you do pray, you know, say a little prayer for the little baby boy. And um, this is real life right here. Reselling, stay-at-home mom, kids are playing. Um, this is how it goes. And I'm, you know, still making money, still making it happen, still love staying at home and doing little school, little Montessori school work with my babies. And I love it. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share, like, subscribe, whatever. 
Um, and comment if you want to. I have some videos that have a lot of comments on them. But yeah, if you want to comment and share the love, I read every comment. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.